Hello my family, my good people, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Max One from Kenya. Actually, I'm at the center of Nyabuhanse Market. So, thank you very much for joining and stopping over so that you can watch our channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my organic subscribers, my organic family. You know, I don't take it for granted when you always come back to watch my videos. You advise me, you comment, you share. Actually, it is not something that I could even take for granted. I will never and I can never. So I just want to let you know that I'll always be humble, respect you always. My audience from different parts of the world, you know, US, you know, we have United Kingdom, we have Kenya, we have Canada, we have Tabogo, we have Trinado, we have India, we have South Africa, we have Australia, you know, we have a lot of a lot of countries actually. Yeah. I want to say that you are the best of the best actually. You know? And I promise I'll never let you down. So I'm coming, you know, I'm now in the middle of C B D. This is the CBD of Nyabuhanse village, the center, the center of the town. Yeah, that, here you can see this the school of Moi Nyabuhanse. This school was named after the name Nyabuhanse. So I'm at the center actually. And I want to share with you one to three things today before maybe I wind up the video, video before the video comes to an end. So my family, I want to say that this is the right channel you should belong. This is the ch right channel you should subscribe. And if you are new in this YouTube channel, I want to say that I go by the name Max One from Kenya. And also I want to say that for the returning subscribers, you are the real OG, you know. I respect you and I always respect you. So my family, my good people, today I want to talk about what is happening at the swamp down there and this is not uh, laughing this is not something maybe to joke this is a very serious thing and should be taken very very seriously because you know we as the the, the men when we marry our wives actually our wives should be submissive we should not subject our wives to do the duties that we are supposed to do as men so at the swamp there things have changed things have drastically changed and i want to confirm to you yeah i want to say this unconditionally and categorically that things are going in a mess in the swamp why am i saying so i'm saying this because we have the sister from argentina who came here as our in-law because we believe because we don't want to say that ah there's no love that ex is existing let the, uh, the 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 world expose the the love that is there down there by itself but may I want to say that maybe there is love maybe there's no love god knows but i want to say that you know in that swamp there are so many people who are going down there uh you can confirm to me because during the party you saw a lot of people down there and it now became you know a routine that everyone anyone can just go to that swamp you know unconditionally unconditionally yeah i don't know it was because maybe of the gifts because maybe at that time People were flocking in with many different gifts and that is why the door was wide open for everyone. The goats, the chicken, you know, the cows, you know, the, the money, the foodstuffs. Yeah, and even people were, you know, arranged in, in, in we had the heads of departments actually. It was a very, hey, yeah, sometimes I, I usually say, let's practice what maybe 
we've people have already adopted because if you teach me if you if maybe you say that Max one you are going to take the foods three times a day and I adapt that and one day you just wake up and tell me no you have to take one meal in a day then I'll ask what is not happening yesterday I told you that the other time I told you that now right now there are a lot of U-turns at the gate I'll come to that and tell you why that is happening but I want to go to the our sister from Argentina you know and you all know that Argentina is a is a land where so many people struggles you know it is it is uh, the people from there we can't say that they have good lives yeah I can I can't say that because if you make your own research you'll know where our sister is coming from you even know the background and you will know everything we are glad that she has come in our village here she is taken as a as a queen she's treated very well but the only thing that i don't want is her to be an opportunist maybe she wants something then she runs away that will be a very big 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 mistake she will ever do in her life because when someone takes you well repay that person well so the brother from the swamp is taking her very well we at least say let the good be done to good you know let a spade be called a spade when you do me good i do you good when you do me wrong i do you wrong that is how things should be but right now i can't say that ah the sister the swamp she is not comp is is maybe mistreated no she's she's leaving i can say she's leaving whatever she says when she coughs the brother response you know when she kneels the brother says ah what is not happening you know when she says jump the brother jumps you know so but i usually say that love is blind you know some things like that can happen yeah but let it happen in a in a good way you know let's not happen because someone gonna want to fool someone that is not good so I want to come to the agenda that down there I can see a very drastic change and my people you are able to confirm it because you are intelligent people you are the people whom you watch and you are able to say that this one for sure what Max one is saying is the truth may I don't care how many people will come insulting because may I don't entertain insults but for those who come insulting me good for you because you will comment insult later you'll go and sleep tomorrow we'll wake up we continue so max one is here to stay and i'm here to give my people the best and the first hand information from our village and even from what is happening yeah so down there our sister now has become in charge of everything she's now the controller you know like a tv you have a yeah, tv has got a remote you know yeah a tv must have a remote so a remote controls the tv a remote is a small you know it's a small gadget i can say that it's a small gadget but it can control a very big tv so our sister is controlling the villa plus the compound you see now she's the remote she's the remote controller you know that villa is a big one the compound is big one plus the fish plus the the horses plus the chicken plus everything but she's the one who just does like this when she does like this a horse coughs when she does like this a chicken pew when she does like this the brother says yes 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 so my family i want to say like this because me i'm a honest and i usually say what is on the ground down the, the swamp there i have seen so many visitors going there when you go there when you reach now the the sister i can say our in-law has taken the in, is now in charge she's now the one telling who to enter and who is not supposed to enter do you get me are you getting me my people 
now she's the one now controlling you know she's now the one controlling you know eh? i even saw she's just away some she she just away some two visitors that went there you know and she was like you know you just go because what and what and what and i saw the brother was trying to play smart because <laughs> you know we don't want people to say that the lady is the one sending the people away from the swamp because our brother now is playing so smart you know he, he doesn't want to be seen that is bad but now she he wants the the girlfriend to look bad that she's the, now, now the one telling people to go and I want to tell you today the reason why they are doing like that because they do say that ah Max Wan, you know you you don't know anything sorry about that son you know the son now yeah they do say that oh Max Wan, you don't know about anything but let me tell you something Max Wan is someone who sees things very far Max Wan is a young man from this village who is very positive and educative and also inspiring to many and if anyone listen to me very keenly without jumping into conclusion commenting negativity then he or she will understand that for sure this young man from this village makes sense the appointment you know right now they do say there is no entry without an appointment eh? i want to tell you why the appointments have started these appointments were not there eh? There was no booking appointment. I want to tell you right now why they are very strict on that appointment. You must have an appointment for you not to be allowed to step in the villa. Eh? And when you go to the gate, actually when you go to the gate, you know right now the CCTV that are there. Eh? Even before you start knocking, Someone has already seen that ah, that is Max One coming. That Max One has no goat. That Max One has no chicken. That Max One has no cow. That Max One has no motorbike. That Max One has nothing on hand. The wallet, even the CCTV checks the wallet. Does Max One have some uh, cash in the pocket? At least to say, bra bra bra. When they see ah, this one, the appointments, the reason why they have. They have brought this an appointment so strictly it is because now they want to analyze and to come out in a very stipulated way in a very stipulated way in getting the correct donors the correct people who can give out in plenty because come in agreement with me reason with me and we shall come in conclusion and we'll see that anything that i'm saying has make a sense when for example me max one have booked an appointment i go there the interrogation you know has you know when you go you you flock in in many you'll find that one or five people five people depending on one gift that ah we brought for you the chair we brought for you the the sack of maize we brought for you a got but now when you book an appointment you alone alone and alone the first question that you are asked why are you here of course you will say you know i'm here because uh you've inspired me so much i have been watching you since many years here and there and now have come so that at least you know, I feel so much motivated with what you are doing. Bra bra bra, a lot of stories. You know, even storybooks, yeah. Then after there, now the second question will come. So, how can I help you? Now there is another question, challenging question. Now you will come like, ah, you know me. I want to stay here. I want to be around you so that I can grow my channel. What and what? The third question. What do you have to offer? That is now. You, you are alone because you booked an appointment. Any question that you have been asked, you have to answer it very, very well in a makeable way. And if they realize that maybe 
the gift that you 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 have gone with is not is priceless they just tell you no right now uh, uh, actually go back then you will come later uh, today is on 5 on 5th come back on 20th and we shall see on what to do because your hand is short I hope you are getting me very well that is why the brother our brother at the swamp you know is very intelligent let me say this is very intelligent because me I usually see is very intelligent he comes out strategically and plans that how am I going to to at least achieve hmm? without people knowing what I'm achieving let me put an appointment eh? let me give instructions at the gate that without an appointment no stepping in hmm? that is it now when you go back not realizing that what you carried is not worthy the brother from the swamp needed you know you will go very happy home saying that on 20th on 20th when you are knocking you have been told the people are not in the compound the people have gone or if you go back and rethink yourself and you carry something heavy with you the appointment goes successfully what am i trying to say is that here business is being done it's just business you know give me i give you you know you know what i'm i'm speaking you know what i'm talking my people you give i give back without giving you can't get because if this guy maybe was someone maybe whom as they say that is someone who want to help the gate should be open you know very open day during the day because is the one who have hmm, told these people that here you are welcomed let people not come on this camera and say that oh that is the privacy of someone if that was the privacy then he would have find a place where he would have meeting these people not at his compound but because he has told the people to eat three meals at a go let him not now come back and say that one meal a day and the same same people those who are bragging here pretending what and what trying to say a lot of big huh? they are the one crying here that oh now there's no entry now there's big u-turns now we have been restricted now there's a sudden change i want to say that the sister is, a, is not someone to joke with is not someone to joke with if you are a very keen observer uh these two these two visitors who went there actually they went there and our brother from the swamp as i said you know is very intelligent yeah he saw them and he was like he called them mura kuja you know the way he just called them mura kuja after there he saw that ah, the person in charge is the baby gun hmm? the mom he called him he usually called her mom uh she left there he left the, the the visitors hanging and now the lady took control and when he just he told them no right now there's nothing like coming in we need privacy we don't need anything we are what 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 but I don't know how they realized that these people were loaded with gifts. The moods changed abruptly. The moods changed. And they were let in very, very, very fast. And they were be, being even told that, ah, I wish I knew. I would have even given the accommodation so that you can sleep here two days, three days because of what? Gifts. There's no one who, I want to say straight, categorically, that there is no one who will never accept the gift. Even if he says that is the richest, he says that he has what? He says that what, what? We know now the, the story is out. The, uh, everything is out. Everyone who has got eyes is able to see that for sure this, this is what is happening. Eh? 
You might fool a person today, you fool her, him tomorrow, but you'll never fool this person forever and ever. He will just come out and tell you, no, stop it, because I'm not a fool. I've been watching you with one eye, and now I've realized that you want to bend me low, and from today, I want to say that now I'm in my feet, stop the nonsense, get out, step big big, and leave me alone. Those are the things that is, will happen. Right now we understand that there's, <laughs> even the rich cries, eh? the way he said, the rich cries, the rich cries because they need some, something to arm. They do, sell, uh, they do say that, oh, Max One, you are poor, Max One, what, what. I want to say that the right time will come, actually. God is the one who is opening doors for us who are down so that we meet the good people with God, good souls, just the way they met them before us. And that is why they are bragging. But I want to say that the right time is coming, even as we are going to meet the good people who will uplift our hands and no one will laugh because they do say who laughs last loves the best because me I will never laugh to someone that maybe I have gotten something today I want to laugh to that person who does not have that will be I'll be fooling myself even if I'm in that position I will try my level best at least to uplift the others unconditionally Not, oh, you have to book appointment. Are you God? Huh? Are you God? Even God is not telling us to book an appointment. Huh? So because there's the same people, people have uplifted you in another way. But you, you want to go in corner cornery so that you can uplift other people conditionally. That is too bad. So my good people, the act of those appointments, booking an appointment, they have hidden things. And I have told you straight here on camera that it is because they need other ways so that they can get big, big stuffs. Because when you interrogated one, one by one, I swear you are going to give out. Even the, the, the little that you had, you've kept, you have to give it. And I want to say that uh, there's no one who is maybe against of being the shout outs, what, what, what. But just watch Mama Gift. Mama Gift came here with a lot of CCTV. She put the CCTV around the whole swamp. And even when, when the thief came in that swamp, the CCTV was the one that helped this brother to catch up with the thief. If the CCTV were not there, then automatically there's no one would have known the thief, who the thief was. The pump, you know what I'm talking about. So now when I watch Mama Gift's channel, sometimes I do I was I, I do I usually say like, ah, when she was at the swamp there, the views were 30k. 40k 50k 20k but now she's out of the swamp she has gone go watch and tell me if i'm lying the views are not there i don't know whether when they're around the swamp that is now when the things are straight when they give they give the swamp the back like this everything is just returned there i don't know what is happening Huh? What I'm saying is that when you give someone something, give him genuinely. And I was saying, I was, I was hearing him saying that, oh, now I uh, have given out 10 motorbikes to the YouTubers in the village, what and what and what, and he was mentioning the names. I want to say that sometimes the devil is a liar. If you know that you've not put a hand in that motorbike, why are you mentioning? Because we know, even before you came, those people were having their own motorbikes. Then why are you putting your name so that people can worship you that now you are the one putting it? X. That is too bad. 
because even me tomorrow I might have my own motorbike from someone eh? maybe a mom can wake up one day and say let me surprise my son Max one from Kenya at least to have a motorbike to go around the village and show the people what's in the village because sometimes walking you know and when I'm now seated I just watch someone uploading his video saying that you know I'm the one who gave Max one the motorbike so you are trying to say that you you, you are the owner of the YouTube you are the owner of the people sometimes let's not fake things that are not there huh? let's be realistic let's say what is the, on the ground because there's no one who's beating you there's no one who's chasing you with cans you know if you speak the truth you will remain be the same same person people will respect you because you speak the truth but when you come out you want to outshine people and i want to say that you know me Sometimes they do say that, ah, why are you attacking, attacking, me, I'm, I'm saying I'm not attacking anyone. What I'm saying is the truth, and the truth will always be bitter. The truth will always set people free. Even Jesus Christ came for the truth, and they betrayed him. Huh? They spit on him. They whipped him. They crucified him. So me, I don't care if they feel like they're going to want to do anything. They are very free. They are very free. Eh? But the truth will always remain the truth. If anyone feels like you're going to comment 50 comments, just come. Comment. After there, take porridge, take tea, take supper, go sleep. Tomorrow, wake up. Max one, I promised my good people that I will always be humble and I will always bring content after content every day god is the witness and god is the judge is the one who has put us on this world so that we can open the eyes of many innocent people who want to support the vulnerables but the things are not done the way they want we condemn that if you're given an opportunity to serve people serve them very well knowing that there's someone who was in that position before you today i'm speaking i'm speaking from my heart if you're given a chance to serve people at least serve them with one heart knowing that tomorrow that seat will be vacant for another one because even before you sat in that chair there's someone who was sitting on that chair so make a difference even our, on, in a, when it comes to our village, when you are given something that you do this to, to this vulnerable family, do it in a good way. In a good will. Actually, thank you very much, my family. You are good people. You always support. You always come back, watch my videos. You don't skip the ads. And for those who even extend their hands in their pockets and say that, ah, let me give these five dollars. Let me give these twenty dollars. Let me give these my son, my brother. Something small at least to change their life. Thank you very much. God will bless you from different parts of the country, from different parts of the world. And I saw even that swamp. When this motorbike were being arranged there, there were five. And the mom came. And he was like, why don't you give one to congrats dad? And it was like funny. Actually, it was like a movie. Actually, <laughs> when I saw that part, I just laughed because I saw the brother say that, you know, sometimes me, I don't understand the mom. First, when the mom said that, ah, why can't you give one motorbike to, the, to congrats dad? I saw the brother saying that, who is congrats dad? And it was like, mm, there's something. You know, only intelligent can understand. And he went uh, ahead and said, uh, Sometimes I don't understand what is wrong with my mom. Mm? And even he, he said that now you are spoiling my video. Because the mom was sounding like, you know, he was like, Now these motorbikes, why are they going out instead of one remaining a day? And because, you know, the, the, 
the congress that does not have the motorbike so why can't he give been gifted one that was the the main question but now the <laughs> he never understood and he said no this no one no one no 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 eh? go watch the videos there i'm not lying and me i don't cut the videos of people to put on my channel because I want my people to watch me. I don't want people to watch other people. I create the content. I speak the reality. I have good people who believe in what I say. God will bless you and bless you and bless you so much. And for those who all does the positive content creation, exposing the lies for the betterment of tomorrow. So my good people, I want to say that Today we've shared and if anyone has doubts, the doors are very open. You can just go check if Max One is speaking the truth or if Max One is speaking the lies. But may I surely say, we are the number one people who brings the good information, the good right hand information to our audience. So thank you very much for listening to me. May God bless you and bless you so much. I salute you. You know everyone, I love you so much. My moms who supports me, may God bless you and bless you. Together as one, I love you so much.